video we will learn how to find the valency of an element with respect to hydrogen that is the number of hydrogen atoms that an atom of an element can combine with let us discuss that in detail so we already know that valency is a combining capacity of an element or an atom so now we are going to learn to express the valency with respect to hydrogen that is the number of hydrogen atoms that an atom of an element can combine with now if i say that oxygen can combine with two atoms of hydrogen then the valency of oxygen is 2 how is it now let us discuss in detail now we know that the atomic number of oxygen is 8 where the electronic configuration is 2 comma 6 so 2 in the k shell and 6 in the l shell which is its valence shell so i'm going to represent only the valence electron six valence electrons for the oxygen atom represented here with the symbol o so i'm using red beads to represent only the valence electrons just like the lewis dot formula to that is used to represent the valence electrons that you will learn in detail in your higher classes so six valence electrons with the red bead so one here two and this is how you have to draw the lewis dot formula for the valence electrons for any atom so 1 2 3 4 5 1 you have to just fill 4 and then start the pairing 5 6 so we have finished filling the valence electrons for oxygen atom so we have six and two more it oxygen needs to complete its octet configuration that is eight electrons for its stability so what it will do it will combine with hydrogen atom we know that hydrogen has on, only one uh, electron which is its valence electron so it needs one more to complete its stability like helium with two electrons in its k shell so what it will do it will just form it will share one electron so hydrogen is uh, sharing one electron with it with oxygen so i am representing the valence electron of hydrogen the one electron of hydrogen with a purple bead and another hydrogen it will combine giving its one electron that is sharing one electron with oxygen right so we have a representation of uh, one electron of hydrogen with a purple bead again here so oxygen has combined with two atoms of hydrogen to complete its octet configuration and even hydrogen also has shared one electron with oxygen in order to complete its stability with two electrons in its casial so we have the octet configuration for oxygen as well as the uh, hydrogen with two in its uh, valence shell or the k shell right so this is the molecule formation where oxygen is combined with two atoms of hydrogen and so we say that the valency of oxygen is 2 so water is the name of the compound or the molecule that it is formed so oxygen is combined with two atoms of hydrogen and that is where we are representing these two electrons with a bond representation which is a single line so two electrons are represented with a bond that is one from oxygen and one from hydrogen another one from oxygen and one from hydrogen is represented here with a bond and we have two lone pair of electrons which is which is, which is represented here with two dots right and this is how we will find the valency of an element or an atom with respect to hydrogen so since oxygen has combined with two atoms of hydrogen we say that the valency of oxygen is 2 now let us consider the next example of nitrogen right we will remove all this we will move to the next uh, element nitrogen with the symbol n so now nitrogen atomic number is 7 we know that it is 7 so 2 comma 5 is the electronic configuration so 2 in the k shell 5 in the valence shell which is the l shell so 1 2 1 2 3 valence electrons for nitrogen we have one more to be added so we'll just add here so five valence electrons are represented and it needs three more to complete its octet configuration so what it will do it will combine with hydrogen forming a bond so one hydrogen atom will uh, share one uh, electron with nitrogen so another hydrogen atom will share one electron with hydrogen so another hydrogen atom will sh uh, share one electron so we have represented with a purple color so three hydrogen atoms since it needs nitrogen needs three uh, more electrons to complete its octet configuration it can combine with three hydrogen atoms so nitrogen can combine with three hydrogen atoms which results in the formation of 
ammonia n three atoms of hydrogen should be written as a subscript as it is shown here so nitrogen has combined with three atoms of hydrogen and so we say that the valency of nitrogen is 3 right and we have just a lone pair of electron a pair which is lone pair which is called as lone pair of electron which is left and these are the three bonds it has formed so two electrons which are shared are represented with a single bond so we have three single bonds uh, that is in the ammonia molecule right now we will move to the next example which is carbon so i'll represent carbon atom so we know that the carbon uh, atomic number is 6 right it has 2 in the k shell 4 in the l shell so we will remove all these atoms we will represent the valence electrons that is carbon has 4 valence electrons right so we have already uh, represented carbon with 4 valence electrons with the red bead and it needs 4 more to complete its octet configuration so what it will do it will uh, form bond with 4 atoms of hydrogen so one electron it will share form a pair with the hydrogen so another hydrogen atom will share one electron and another hydrogen here and this is how they form a bond and they will complete its octet configuration so now carbon has bonded with two i mean four hydrogen atoms by sharing the electrons four valence electrons and hydrogen also has its stability completed by sharing these uh, uh, electrons so each hydrogen atom shares one electron with carbon so we say that the valency of hydrogen is one and similarly carbon needs four valence electrons four more electrons to complete its octet configuration so we can say that uh, carbon combines with four atoms of hydrogen forming four bonds with hydrogen so which is nothing but represented as ch4 the molecule is represented as CH4 which is nothing but methane, right? So, we just recall water formula is H2O. Oxygen combines with two atoms of hydrogen. So, valency of oxygen is 2. And then the second example we saw ammonia. That is nitrogen combines with three atoms of hydrogen forming NH3. NH3 is ammonia. So, the valency of nitrogen is 3. And then the last example was methane. Carbon combines with four atoms of hydrogen, right? four atoms of hydrogen and so we have a molecule formation which is methane CH4 so the valency of carbon is 4. Hope you followed. Thank you.